Good morning, my name is Sada Blay, and nice to meet you. I was born in Burma, which is also called Myanmar, a country in Southeast Asia. Burma has the longest civil war in the whole world. For our safety, the best option is leave everything behind and run for our life. And at that time, I was only five months old. So anything that valuable, anything that are big that we couldn't carry, we left it behind there. So only just few clothes for us to wear and then we left in the middle of the night in the dark, rainy season. We call it sarong or you can call it skirt or something. The sarong is a piece of cloth that they wrap around their waist for the woman. I consider it as a valuable thing because it's made by my grandmother. And that's the only thing that I can have for, from them. So it's really something important for me. I myself uh, was a refugee for 24 years until I come to America with me. Yeah, this is me. When I was a little girl, I was about only four or five years old. That's when I become a refugee. I miss the people over there, the how the culture, you know, we do have our culture events. Each year when we have the events like that, everybody come together. Villages from villages, they all gather to celebrate that event. Uh, this kind of shirt is wear only in a special occasion. Nowadays people wear it on a special, uh, I mean uh, on a regular basis, but mostly people wear it on a special day. Akron has a, a resettlement agency. They know what they are doing, how to deal with the new arrival, the new refugees that come. And Akron is a welcoming community. And I've been running from the bullets and guns all my life. So now in here, I feel safe and I, I can call it home. So that's why I like it. I am working for International Institute of Akron, which is a resettlement agency in Akron. My role is a translation coordinator. I'm also a, mostly a healthcare interpreter. I love doing that because I feel like give back to the community where they need it most. I myself was struggle when I first come to America. I need a lot of help. I have a lot of fear. Fear not knowing what to do, how the sy system works. Not only just the language itself. Language barrier is already a problem, but how the system works. That is another reason. Even though I may speak the language, I don't know how the post office works. I don't know how, it's just a simple thing. I don't know, so, you know, new arrivals that come over that I can help, I'm happy to do that because by doing that, it gives me uh, happiness. I feel like it's kind of productive life by doing that, you know, helping, helping the community. So that, that's I like, what I like about my job. Number one is be respectful. Respectful to the other kids that are, doesn't look like them because we are same human. We don't know what our life going to be. It, anything can happen to us at any time. So if they can play together, study together, living in a harmonious 
way that would be nice uh, to make a world a better a better place to live 